Friends, do you know India is having a lot of supercomputers? Now, what is a supercomputer? How it works? You want to know about them? Yes, I will be telling you in this video. So, the new topic we will be starting today will be classification of computer, where we will see that computers are classified according to their size, according to their working nature, according to their shapes, from very powerful to less powerful. Okay, so let's jump into the video. So students, in this video, the topics which we are going to cover will be the classification of computer, classification according to purpose, classification according to size. If you are in this video, you already know what computer is and what kind of work it does. So So first of all, classification of computer. Computer is divided into two categories. Why it is divided? Because many organizations use computer for many purposes. A computer comes in different size shapes for, for different different jobs. On depending on that, computers are classified in two categories. One is according to purpose and according to size. So first we will complete the first section, then we will move on to the next section. So let's go to the according to purpose section. When we move on to according to purpose section, according to purpose computer is again categorized into three sections, analog computers, digital computers and hybrid computers. One by one, let us know about them all. Let's, so let's go. So what is an analog computer? These kind of computers take different inputs, gives approximate results and works on the principle of analog data. Analog data are such kind of data which are not exact. Exact in the sense, if I give you an example, do you see this kind of things? You must have seen this is a speedometer. It stays in the motorcycles or in the cars and this is a weighing machine. So whenever these things are working, do you see an exact result? No, we don't see an exact result. They give us approximate results. So this is the theory they work on. So analog computer, these computers which works on analog principle where they get approximate results uh, nearby the correct result okay now digital computer digital computer they are very much different from analog computer they only take digital inputs they provide accurate results and they works on the principle of binary data zero and one if you know binary data uh, then it's good but still it's my duty to tell you about this computer understands only two things one that is zero and one Apart from these numbers, computer doesn't understand anything. In my uh, channel playlist, you will find a video on computer languages. So if you go through that, you might understand about how computer understands the human languages or high level languages. So let's not uh, talk about that. Let's talk about digital computers. So these computer works on the principle of binary data that is zero and one. Binary digits are known as 0 and 1. So let's see some examples. Yes, desktop PCs, laptop PCs, PCs full form is personal computer. These are digital computers. Now what is hybrid computer? Hybrid computer which comes with the combination of both analog and digital data. You might have seen some uh, uh, electronic devices which provides us both uh, digital data and analog data. If you have been to uh, a petrol pump with your father or with your mom while fueling the tank, you might have seen when the person is giving petrol to this um, scooty, to the motorcycle and even to the car. You will see there are two kind of uh, indicators. One is analog indicator which will show that how much petrol is left in the petrol pump tank or there will be another uh, indicator or the digital one where you will see that how much or how what amount of petrol you uh, that person just provided to your car or to your bike or to your scooty okay we get both kind of data from there only so it's a combination of analog and digital computer it is used for complex calculation it accepts both analog and digital data as well so some examples these are both ex are used in medical sector one is ECG machine echocardiography and one is MRI machine they both provide us the if from in the screen only you can see they pro both are providing uh, analog data and as well as digital data so here goes the previous one we just learned about computer which are categorized according to purpose that was analog computer uh, digital computer and hybrid computer now when it comes to size it comes to size it gets many divisions like five kind of computers are there according to size starting from the biggest one to the smallest one so in this section i will be covering only first two section 
only first two section rest i will be covering in the rest these are i will be covering in the next video so let's start about these supercomputer and mainframe computer so by the name of its only we can understand super that is mean iske baad kuch nahi hai it is the most powerful biggest and expensive computer around the world with a very very high processing speed it is used in big big organizations uh, and it can process trillions of instruction per second now if you ask me what is trillion if uh, i can tell you in a language like it will be like 10 lakh crore instructions 10 lakh crore can you imagine that we cannot write it only in one second it will process 10 lakh crore instruction in one second and where are they, they are used they are used for weather forecasting laboratory researches satellite and missile launching and operating um, animations and many places and many areas they are used uh, because it's not kind of thing that we purchase and own by ourselves it's very very expensive the first supercomputer of india was param 8000 and till today india is having 11 supercomputers out of of this pratyush and mihir pratyush and mihir are the fastest by the names only you can understand they are indian originated name so india is not lacking behind from other countries india is also having 11 super computers isn't it amazing yes it is so i'll show you some example see so these are super computers it's basically a collection of mainframe computers which is making it super computer so what is a mainframe computer there are so many closets do you see kind of closet things they are using see one 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 and all so mainframe computers they are also large expensive but less powerful than super computer it can host multiple operating system my hosting multiple operating system means in the super uh, sorry mainframe computer many operating systems can go side by side simultaneously it was first developed by ibm international business machines and still i ibm is manufacturing uh, mainframe computers and using around the world it is normally it's the size of a closet large business houses government centers basically banks banks they use it uh, generally mainframe computers are used in banks because banking is a networking system so they need uh, very good uh, or powerful computer for this uh, the speed uh, if i compare with uh, mainframe computer sorry if i compare it with super computer it's little less 10 to 100 millions of instructions per second that means uh, let's say uh, 10000 crore instructions per second basically they are used in banks government agencies transportation like flights and this uh, trains and all so that's is mainframe computer we'll see see in the previous photograph only we saw uh, they had many closets and in each closet is kind of a mainframe computer so in this section what are the things we learn we learned about what how many into how many categories computers are divided computers are divided into two categories according to purpose and according to size when according to purpose it is again categorized into three sections one is analog computer digital computer and hybrid computer and according to size it is divided into five sections from where two of the section we just covered one was super computer and one was yes mainframe computer so i told you the name of first indian supercomputer if you remember it please write it in the comment section what was the name of first indian supercomputer and what is the fastest supercomputer of india that also i told you what is the fastest supercomputer of india please write it down in the comment section i will surely answer it so these are the questions you need to understand and you need to solve it by yourself Okay if you need any help you can write it in the comment section i will surely answer that's all for today i hope you have liked this video and enjoy this video share your experience into the comment section if you are new to this channel subscribe the channel active the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get the notification of it so till then thank you and goodbye